Well, more craziness in the state of New Jersey to tell you about tonight. Uh, it just never ends there. You think New York is crazy. Uh, you know, we have this now. Uh, these two guys here are, they jumped, so they trespassed into the six fla into six flags in the safari fence. All right. So we, we talked about, about this problem already with this. So luckily they've got pictures of, of these two guys. Uh, so reportedly, J uh, Jackson PD officers have had to respond to multiple reports of people trespassing on the Six Flags Great Adventure property located along Reed Road. Some of these incidents have been on Sunday at approximately April 12, 2020, approximately 1431 hours. Officers responded to Reed Road to on a report to pe of people along the fence line. Responding officers located a family on bikes riding along Reed Road, which is on paved, which is an unpaved township road. Officers did not observe anyone at the fence line trespassing onto Six Flags property, which would fall under petty or uh, disorderly, petty disorderly person's offense of defiant trespassing. And since the pres in presence requirement on officers observing the fence offense was not met, it was not met for them to illegally issue a summons. The suspects were warned, and uh, the uh, Six Flags uh, Great America representatives were contacted and, uh, and advised that they could sign complaints if they choose. The responding officers also considered the executive order, of course, uh, uh, which states residents should stay at home uh, unless they're leaving for the following reasons, exception, walking, running, or engaging in outdoor activities with immediate family, caretakers, household members, or romantic partners. partners. And EO 108, which states that no county or municipality may adopt or enforce restrictions going forward related to any general restrictions on freedom of movement. Uh, so they basically couldn't cite the people that were there. Uh, but these guys, on the other hand, uh, uh, were uh, were trespassing. Look at that. Uh, unbelievable. They are actually behind, they climbed the fence. That's unbelievable. This is not something I, I, I condone at all whatsoever. Clearly trespassing. These guys need to be arrested. Um, that's private property. Six Flags. Great adventure. So on April 16, 2020, there was a report of a suspicious vehicle on Reed Road and trespassing on the SFGA property. During this investigation, a 49-year-old man was observed trespassing on the property and claimed he went there to see the animals. He was issued a summons for defiant trespassing and released at the scene pending a court appearance. So uh, they were also received information on the two male subjects who were captured on these security cameras climbing over the fence and entering the safari property where they could potentially have risked coming into contact with the safari animals. Uh, this took place at two, on Tuesday, April 14th, at approximately 17.59 hours, and the males were inside the safari for approximately a half hour before leaving. Uh, so this is, uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, uh, so, uh, and this is the other thing that happened, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of... What's going on in New Jersey is because of the overly aggressive action. So people are fighting back. And this is another example of a complete o o uh, overly aggressive action. And this, uh, these two guys, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's these guys here, uh, but basically McCucken and Catalano Bill would fine you $1,000 just for going to the park. No, not $1,000, I'm sorry, $10,000 for going to the park. So this is being pushed through... Uh, uh, a, a law and trend is being pushed through that would fine New Jersey residents up to $10,000 for violating Governor Phil Murphy's executive orders. And it's not the Democrats who are pushing to increase the penalties. It's the Republicans at the Jersey Shore that are calling for this. That's what I mean. They're both in on it. Democrats, Republicans, they're both in to take away your freedom in New Jersey. It doesn't matter the party. Uh, uh, it was sponsored by Tom's River Township Resub Republican Assemblyman. Gregory P. McCulkin and his partner in crime, John Catalano. Also signing on were Assemblyman Eric Hultalang, Joan, Joan Downey, Sean Keen, and Sam Thompson, and Diane Gov. Uh, infractions that have transpired in Ocean County would severely be penalized while, while the bill's creators are seemingly trying to legislate, le legislate violations in Lakewood Township. The fines would also be applied to the woman who was taking pictures in the Seaside Park or the guy who was playing guitar in a life stand, lifeguard stand at the beach. Uh, currently, uh, violations of, of the law of this law carries a disorderly person's offense carrying a potential sentence of up to six months in jail and a fine of up to $1,000. Yeah, just for hiking in a park. It's ridiculous. So uh, this is what's going on in the state of New Jersey. Because they're being so draconian, 
you're getting people that are doing you're getting pushback and then there's then there's this protest here that happened in new jersey here um state police ticketed and charged peaceful protesters in violation of murphy's law uh and they were just protesting and uh obviously the violation of the constitution here um the officer's not wearing a mask by the way neither is that woman though uh, now, there were some protesters that were not observing the social distancing. Uh, there were some protesters that were um, uh, not, um, you know, um, not, uh, there's some, some of these protests that are going on. They're not observing the social distancing. They're not wearing masks, which is wrong. Um, but what happened here is absolutely very disturbing. So it says right here in the article here that Kim Pagan of Tom's River was charged by the New Jersey State Police for violating uh, these emer the emergency orders by organizing a prohibited event today in Trenton. So she was charged for organizing a protest. Uh, that's pretty much against the Constitution. Um, a woman shouted at the officer as he walked down a line of cars with a ticket book. So uh, organizers did remind protesters to be polite, wear face coverings, and be courteous. Uh, but when the police started coming and issuing tickets, then it got people got upset, obviously. So let's... Uh, Watch this video here, if we can. Turn the sound on. So there you go. This is the United States of America, folks. Uh, uh, New Jersey is going to be sued immensely for this, and I honestly think this is the end for Phil Murphy. I think it's only a matter of time before he is uh, removed from office, uh, before his term is up, because this is, this is not going to fly in the United States of America. Uh, so that's it. That's all I have for you right now. But, of course, you know, the mainstream media doesn't want to talk about this, but we're going to continue to talk about it. People do have a right to protest, and uh, that officer, again, was actually too close to that woman, so he was violating the... Um, six foot guideline if he if i was in my vehicle and he approached me any closer i would just drive away i was like look you're violating my space you're violating the rules so you know i mean these people were in their vehicles they weren't even out of their vehicles uh they have the right to protest this is the united states of america but apparently in new jersey uh phil murphy he's even said he did not consider the constitution so uh there you go phil murphy uh needs to be removed uh from office uh i think we are going to see if this keeps up phil murphy is probably going to be wind up being arrested sooner than later uh, i don't think the federal government is going to be putting up with this for much longer so that's all i have for you take care